I'm Dr. Natalie Bittetere, and today we're going to talk about self-discipline. So I came up with this topic because when I think about what is the trait that's the most important that differentiates successful people from average people, I have come to the conclusion that it is self-discipline. Hear me out. Self-discipline is about setting out to do something and you actually do it. You know, the kind of people that go to the gym on the days they say they're going to the gym or eat right or wake up on time. Consistently, everybody can do something good once in a while. All of us have great moments, can have a wonderful day at work, can have great ideas, can be super organized and tough once in a while or twice a week or every month. But how many people can be consistent in their good habits every single day? When you look at really successful people, they are the most disciplined people. They don't get distracted by small events or simple things or emotions or some fleeting thing in their life. When they say they're going to do something, they get it done. When they set out to do something, they get it done. They don't come back with excuses. They don't say there was this obstacle. They don't say, oh, my background or my situation or this circumstance or this person. They find a way to get it done. That determination, that resilience, that sacrifice, that is your level of self-discipline. And that is what I have noticed all successful people have. Whether they're in a different industry, whether they're in public service or private, whether they're business people, whether they're excellent parents, whether they're excellent at anything. It's the people who have the self-discipline that go farther and further than the rest of us. And I feel like if you think about it as a spectrum, think about it, where do you fall on the self-discipline spectrum? Here are the billionaires and the presidents and the like most successful people in the world we live today. And here are the super underachievers, the people who always say, oh, one day I'll be this or one day I'll have this. You know, those friends that always tell you their dreams, but never achieve anything. Those that's on this level. So think about yourself on this spectrum of self-discipline. Where do you fit? The higher you are to this side, the more successful you must be already. And the more successful you will be in future. Because when you build up the tools and the skills within yourself to be that discipline, to do what you say you're going to do, that is the skill that is going to take you further in every aspect of your life. With your physical health, with your mental strength, with your career, with your emotions, with your relationships, with your wealth in your life. When you look at athletes, people who are used to waking up at 4 a.m. and practicing and training day in, day out, whether it's raining, whether they are grumpy, whether they're sad, they do it. That is self-discipline. I always used to say that it's interesting how you can see the people with good habits, the people who say, I only drink this many drinks. I have to wake up at this time. I never miss going to church. I have to make sure I get this done. No, the people who pick up their kids on time, who show up at work at 7 a.m. every single day. There are people who have more discipline than others. And some of these examples, someone is more naturally good at something, yes. But you have to see the ones who put in the effort, the time, the work. Are you one of those people? Do you say you're going to do something and you actually get it done? That is your level of self-discipline. And that's what you have to learn how to curate, how to grow, how to become stronger at. Because the more disciplined you are, the more you're used to making those choices and sacrifices and being steadfast, the better it will be for you in future. The way you make small decisions is the way you make big decisions. Remember that. So if you have the good skills and the good system for making small decisions every day, like what you should eat, what time you should get up, how you should deliver at work, your different work ethics, your different level of commitment and dedication to the different small tasks you do, that is how you will be with big tasks, with big choices, with big decisions. So it is important that you make sure you're making the small choices and doing the right thing every single time. You have to practice your self-discipline, some muscle, and the stronger you get, the better your life will be.